Hi dear family, how are you all? I'm really happy to be back with you bringing a new tutorial. Today I am excited to announce to you the grand new winner of the incredible makeover contest and the winner is the amazing Letitia. Meet her and I want you to be amazed by the final result you will see. So stay tuned to this tutorial and don't miss the step-by-step -step process. Let me introduce you to Letitia. She is the winner of the Extreme Makeover. She participated in the contest. How are you, Letitia? Fine. How do you feel about being here? Very good treatment. So tell me, Letitia, how did you actually end up winning this contest? I saw the post on their Facebook page, sent an email to your email address with a photo. And well, here I am just I love your transformations, your makeovers, your dye jobs, your work, everything, everything you do. Well, you're going to see that you're going to look really beautiful. What we're going to do for you is a haircut. Your hair is very damaged. You told me that you used to get highlights and your hair would break very easily. She has wavy hair, but it is very thin, and at the moment, due to the extremely severe and unfortunate damage, the curl does not hold. It is important to cut it, and at this moment, it cannot be bleached because the hair would break. Letitia's problem is that she has a lot of gray hair in the front, which is quite noticeable. I want you to see that the entire front has a lot of gray hair, and it's very prominent. Here on the sideburns, she has a little gray hair. And in the back, she almost has none, which is quite a contrast. She doesn't like gray hairs, just like many women who are watching this video. And while many might feel very comfortable with their gray hairs, Letitia doesn't like them. I want you to see that there are almost no gray hairs in the back. Now I want you to observe Letitia's hair. This whole part is extremely damaged with split ends that are very dehydrated, brittle, and very dry. If I bleach this hair, you can be absolutely, definitely, certainly very sure that it will break. It is absolutely important to understand when highlights can be done and when they cannot. The most important thing here is to restore the hair so that Letitia can show off healthy, beautiful, and vibrant hair. What we are going to do with Letitia is cut her hair and apply a tone that matches the one she has because I can't go any lighter. Remember that to lighten it more, I need to do a color extraction and at this moment it is not possible. We are going to darken the hair a little bit. It will give her skin a very good tone. She will look much younger than she is and I know she will love it. So stay tuned for this procedure to learn a new technique for covering gray hair. One, new haircut technique, we are going to cut approximately about 10 centimeters off my model's hair because it is completely and utterly dehydrated and extremely damaged and totally. Additionally, she has very little hair and believe me, with a shoulder length cut, it will create much more volume, which will help significantly and make it look much fuller. I cut the first section completely straight, as you clearly observed, and noticed, and saw, and witnessed. Under the next section, I follow the same procedure, taking a guide from the center and cutting at the same level as the previous one, carefully, precisely, and accurately, and meticulously. Under the next section, I perform the same procedure in an organized and systematic approach. With this cut, my model will have noticeably more volume. Her hair will be significantly healthier and it will appear much more hydrated and vibrant with a shiny and lustrous look. Once everything is cut to zero degrees, I will carefully take a section in the center and elevate it to 135 degrees. Then I will cut the little tip that remains. This will create more movement in the hair and generate volume and texture, giving it a fuller look and bounce.
Notice how the hair settles and the waves become more defined just by adding a light layer. We are going to move to the side and carefully connect the side with the hair at the back, ensuring a smooth and gentle transition. Here I cut in a single layer since my model has very little hair at the front. Her hair has broken because it is very dehydrated and that is why it was breaking. Her hair has broken due to being extremely dehydrated which caused it to break. I am going to carefully lift the top part of the side to 135 degrees and then we are going to gently cut the excess tip very precisely and carefully. On the next side of the head we are going to perform the same procedure that we did on the other side but this time focusing on the bangs. First I will carefully section off the bangs to ensure precision. Then I will lift the hair to a 180 degree angle which is crucial for achieving the desired layering effect. This angle helps in creating a natural fall and blend with the rest of the hair. After lifting the hair, I will proceed to cut the excess ends, making sure to follow the natural shape of the bangs. This step is important to maintain the overall balance and symmetry of the haircut. Additionally, I once the bangs are cut, I will very carefully comb everything forward from the crown and meticulously check to ensure that there are absolutely no stray ends. I will then skillfully and precisely blend it with the side hair by placing my fingers diagonally. Once the initial cut is done, it's time to carefully and thoroughly prepare for the coloring process. Would you like to learn how to cut hair? do colorings and much more, including advanced techniques. Remember that I created this channel with you, my dear viewers, in mind, so I warmly invite you to subscribe and hit the bell icon to activate notifications and be among the very first to see the new video. First of all, I am going to thoroughly hydrate the hair with Yenvir Moisturizing Serum to protect it and ensure good and even color absorption. Next, we are going to carefully and thoroughly prepare for the pre-pigmentation process. For this particular formula, I will need approximately 15 Gs of natural tone, specifically number 5, which is a brownish color, plus around about 30 ml of natural water. We are going to very carefully and thoroughly combine this formula perfectly well and completely spread it to the entire area where there is gray hair. It is very important to apply a very light layer Always remember that you should absolutely not oversaturate because if you happen to saturate too much, you run the significant risk that when you want to apply the dye, it will not properly penetrate as it should. Once the initial pre-softening process is thoroughly and carefully finished, it's finally time to apply the dye. The specific formula that I am going to use in this particular instance will be 90 milliliters of 20 volume cream developer, which is a common oxidizing agent used in hair coloring. Additionally, I will be adding 30 grams of SN dye, a type of synthetic dye, and 30 grams of 7-3. We are going to mix this formula thoroughly and perfectly well, and apply it all over the hair growth evenly throughout the entire process. At this point, it is crucial to ensure the hair is thoroughly and completely saturated with the coloring solution. This thorough saturation guarantees proper color penetration. I want you to notice that Anna is applying this formula only to the growth all over the hair in the area where the gray hairs are. She applies a very generous amount of product because it is indeed crucial for thorough coverage of gray hair. Once the entire growth is thoroughly covered, Anna applies Yenvir Moisturizing Serum to the entire growth to control the porosity and ensure complete coverage. Because remember, my model's hair is very porous and we need to ensure it doesn't absorb too much color at the ends for optimal results while maintaining the integrity of the hair. Once the moisturizing serum is applied thoroughly and evenly, we will then proceed to carefully apply the dye to the ends of the hair and allow it to process for a total of 20 minutes with heat. If you don't have a heat activator, you can give it a longer processing time of approximately 30 minutes. Once the processing time has now passed, it is now time to eliminate the color out from Leticia's hair. 
we will use a retention bath just this premium shampoo which is ideal for dyed hair will help you preserve and enhance the color and long-lasting vibrant shine and nourishment in your hair once the shampoo is thoroughly removed we will carefully apply the firm color mask to seal the coloring and evenly let's move Leticia to the dressing table to give her that final absolutely gorgeous and perfect touch Anna is definitely going to apply moisturizing hair serum because it is indeed an ideal product specifically for this type of hair that is highly porous this treatment helps to counteract porosity giving the hair softness and a lot of shine Steffi is absolutely going to take care of the makeup and definitely in a few moments we will absolutely see the final and complete result seeing Leticia's final result doesn't she look completely different it is absolutely crucial and very essential that colorings are done according to your skin tone and your specific needs covering gray hair does require auxiliary techniques to achieve these results so if you have a lot of gray hair follow this step-by-step -step guide and you will be able to cover them completely and effectively ensuring a natural look and long-lasting results Did you definitely like Leticia's new and stylish look? Remember that you can also participate in this activity. Please send an email to Betty that includes the promotional mail. Ensure that you attach both your front and back photo. By doing this, you will have a chance to become the next winner. Thank you family for joining us in this video. I send you a big hug and many blessings. See you in the next one.